Hey, how's it going today? Today I want to show you a couple tricks to set up your configuration files. One thing that I've been noticing is that in the olden days of V8i, we weren't really upgrading our software for MicroStation very often, but with Open Roads and MicroStation Connect, we have been doing upgrades. And when you do upgrades, you have to reset up all your, all your configuration files. You have to set up shortcuts that maybe you've made. You have to set up pop-ups that maybe you've made. So I'm going to show you all these different things that I like to set up in my program. And then I'm going to show you how to actually quickly set it up for the new software. Let's jump in. The first thing that I like to draw in are V8i shortcuts. And V8i shortcuts are shortcut keys over on the side of your keyboard. Now these are built into V8i, but they don't auto turn on when you're using MicroStation Connect or Open Roads Designer. So what does this actually do? You see this Q right here? If I hit Q on my keyboard, it then will go to another pop-up window and I can hit a one, two, three to access any of these commands. So Q1 is a smart line. I use this all day, every day. W, if I wanted to draw on a block, W2, I can do a shape really quickly. And then other ones that I might use, this three button in here, if I push and hold this, I can do copy, move, scale, rotate, or I can just hit three on my keyboard, go back to a Q1, and now if I hit three, one, I can easily copy this, move parallel, three, nine. I'm gonna type in five, four feet here, make a copy, boom, there we go. There are lots of other commands you can do. The ones that I use most often are probably these F keys, measure distance, measure area, measure radius, measure length. I often find myself doing the Q keys and then the three, copy, move, rotate, scale, move parallel. I find myself using this five one quite often, change element attributes, and then the seven one, modify element. So breaking element, extending, trimming, trim to element. I'm using this all day long. Draw a smart line, seven, five, trim to element, and draw to connect my lines that way. How do I turn on those V8i shortcuts? So there's basically two things you have to do. You have to go into preferences. Preferences is a place to access a lot of your customizing tools. So I'm going to hit position mapping and I'm going to use position mapping. These V8i shortcuts are called position mapping. Next, I need to go to this little dialog box up here and hit dialog. And that will pop up these V8i shortcuts. What else do I like to set up? Okay, let's go back to that preferences. Another thing that I really like to do is under the input command, there's a thing here called escape exit command. I really like this, so I'm drawing a line. I decided I don't want this line. I can hit escape to get out of it. Another really popular way to do shortcuts is to hit your space bar to bring up pop-ups. Now you may be noticing that if you do this, you have different pop-up keys than I do. Now you can edit the, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, to do this, to edit these, you go to customize ribbon under admin, under interface, under pop-ups. You have to basically go in. It's, it's pretty tedious to do this. What I'm going to show you at the end, you can just copy all of these settings to your next version of MicroStation. So why would I like this? A lot of these same tools are available in your taskbar. This change element attributes is the same as 5.1. Almost all of these are available in your V8i task, but when you hit spacebar, it's already on the mouse. So often you can do one click or two clicks. The rotate view is also right up here, so it's not really that hard, but hit the spacebar, just have less for your mouse to move. Another thing that I really like to do is called function keys. So what are function keys? Function keys are your F1, F2, F3 at the top of your keyboard. Now you can customize these, and I have several that I like to do. I really like to do F2 is level off except element, F3, level off by element. If I hit F3, turn off a layer. If I hit F2, turns off everything else except that layer. So I really like to do that. Some other function keys that I like to do, F5 is turning on different display toggles, your level manager, your reference toggle. F9 gets you to this search bar. And then there's some other toggles that I like to flip on and off from time to time. So if I hit F5, brings up my level display. If I hit F6, Level Manager, seven references, you know, F9, turn AccuDraw, AccuSnap, on, off. There's different things you can do. So how do you actually go in and change those? See what I did, I figured out what I wanted to do. I figured out the key in for that. 
view previous, and then I know view previous is going to be my command. This is going to be the name of that command. So coming up with function keys, you can type in view previous. It's basically what I did. You can open up a function key menu that you already have. You can do a save as in this file. Basically show you, shows you what these function keys are, what commands you're pulling from, and then you can open it up. Unfortunately, if you've previously saved them and then you try to open up every time you open MicroStation, you have to re in this function key command, which I think is super annoying. So the way to have it always bring in, you go to your configuration variables, type in function key, MS function menu, click on select, go to where it is, and then click on open. And now I'm basically telling it where I want it to look for my function keys. So every time it opens up, it looks in that specific spot for that specific function key menu. I'm big on keyboard shortcuts. So when I'm drawing something, I want to be able to easily snap to something without going down here, clicking on nearest, and then, oh, I want to click on nearest here. I got to go down here again. It's just super annoying. So I basically set a keyboard shortcut. If I hit R on my keyboard, it's going to hit go to nearest. So I'm going to hit R again, and now it's going to nearest. Say I wanted to draw a line that was perpendicular. I start hit T on my keyboard and it automatically draws a perpendicular line. I find nearest and perpendicular to be things that I use all the time. So how did I do that? Keyboard shortcuts are another way to do shortcuts. We got function keys, we got V8I, position mapping, and then we got keyboard shortcuts. There's so many different ways we can get to different things. So I have added in at the bottom here, snap nearest with R and snap perpendicular with T. And then I've taken out the existing ones that were in here, T and R. Now you can add more in if you want. Now you may have noticed if you're paying attention that R and T are actually some of the V8I position mapping. So I have actually changed some of the defaults here. This actually should be Q, W, E, R. So I've gone into my position mapping, like I've mentioned before, and I changed the default. The, the default is, I'm going to just copy this. I hit defaults here. Q W E R T D. I went ahead and I changed that and I'm going to cancel this. If you don't do that, then it's not going to allow you to use that R and that T for your keyboard shortcuts. You may want to do different shortcuts your own way. This is just the way I do it. The last thing that I want to show you that is really nice to have set up is your configuration variables. So if I go to file, close we have our custom keybot configuration now in open roads there's like three or four other configurations that you probably want to have on your computer but normally in microstation connect we just use this configuration so i go to manage configuration i'm going to i could add this one p.nt bte cad u station microstation 10 to do that i would just call this pot u drive it's network shared drive and dot T station micro type in here p dot t cad station micro station 10 to select and that will should work you can see i have another one in there now exactly the same all right so there's like several things that i set up every time what a pain in the butt so how do i actually just go about and have it all set up for me a little bit buried in here but i'm going to show you how to do this see users Go to app data, which is a hidden folder. So you might need to hit view hidden item, app data, the local Bentley MicroStation. I only have one in here and under my preference. Basically all of these files get updated and changed as I'm making those several changes, adding VDI shortcuts, my configuration file. Let me just kind of open this up real quick and show you the configuration variable. Again, so here's the path in my configuration variable, BTEU station, MicroStation 10. It's telling it to add that with the name PBOT U drive. Say, for example, you know, I download 10.01 or whatever the next one is. There's going to be a file in here called pref, prefs. What I would want to do is just take all of these files, copy them right into here. And that is going to update all those changes that I just made. So it has my function key menu in there. Those keyboard shortcuts are right in here. This UCF file is telling me where to find those function key menus. This DGN library has the pop-ups saved in it. So a bunch of these different things have different stuff in it. If you just copy this over everything in that file, it's gonna bring it in the way you want it. 
All right, this was a lot, but hopefully you can figure out how you want to configure your microstation to work best for you. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.